Today I will do another flight on my Skynetic S back 342. It's a flat for me RC plane uh, and this one runs on 3S up to 1.3 amp battery. So let's go outside and get this one up in the air. There is some wind today, so you can surely just windsurf with this one. Really nice day, pretty warm, nice sky for filming. This uh, RC plane then comes from uh, Motion RC. It's a flat foamy. And uh, I first uh, purchased the um, E Flight Erratics just to try out foamy, flat foamy RC airplanes. But I just soon discovered that the Erratic was a really fragile RC airplane. So I wanted to try something else and I found this this one that um, uh, looked interesting. And uh, the flights I've done so far, this one has been really good. It's a really dense foam on this RC plane and usually I mean, it's a, it's a well-controlled plane. I'm uh, just uh, my aim is to to learn uh, how to handle this RC plane. So uh, a while ago, I purchased the E-Flight Extra 300. Just to dip my toes into more aerobatic and symmetrical wing RC planes. So this is just another plane then in in the row of me exploring kind of more aerobatic RC planes. So, I mean, I'm not uh, just aiming to do uh, just a super nice flight and just exploring this RC plane. Time remaining, three minutes. Just learning how to orientate this one. It's not really a large RC plane, quite small. It's not a, it's not a powerful RC plane, so it does uh, have a kind of a slow flying pr propeller then. But it's fun just to do different things and uh, compared to my usual high wing or low wing RC airplanes. I think that's a, just a continuous goal when I fly my RC airplanes. I just want to keep improving. I mean, I, I just set different goals for myself. Sometimes I um, just want to make a super smooth flight. Sometimes I just want to practice landings. Sometimes I just want to fight the wind. And with this one, uh, and just try to learn how to do a, a good kind of flight with this one and uh, I'm, I'm not good at doing 3D stuff. I think the pain like this could be a good option and just to try it and to learn things. I'm running in this on a 3S 850 milliamp battery. So I think the specification then calls for a 1300, but I haven't really uh, seen any difference when I try this one on a kind of a 1300 and 850 milliamp batteries. Oops. <laughs> okay, I just uh, made a <laughs> touch and bounce uh, accidental <laughs> thing. But um, I mean, 850 works just fine to do at least a five minute flight. And it uh, makes the plane just a little bit lighter also. Just this one down then. Just making another round. Just uh, facing the wind uh, and doing kind of a... Just a uh, hover landing, hopefully. Oh. The reason I purchased this RC plane, uh, I had two reasons. The first reason was that this is cam, comes in an ARF version, so there's a lot of assembly on this RC plane. You have to use a lot of glue. Uh, so I just want to have something different than all like this plug and play or BNF RC planes that I mostly fly. So that was the part number one. And part number two is 
I mean, I've flown so many different RC airplanes, like high wing, low wing, biplanes, EDF RC airplanes, and I'm just exploring this hobby. So I wanted to have like a robust, flat, foamy RC airplane to do aerobatics and just to explore my ability. So, so this plane then is just something I, that I will learn on. And um, surely, as you've seen in, in the flight, then. Uh, I'm, I'm no expert at flying these sorts of airplanes, but I think that as long as you can handle it quite well, it's really good to have an RC airplane that just makes you move your limits, your boundaries to, to what you can do. Uh, and I think this is a good option because I managed to ram this plane straight into the ground on, on, uh, on the flight. And uh, of course I broke the prop, but that was the only damage. I mean. Nothing. Uh, I think I just scraped a little bit of dirt from from the one of the wings. And had this one been like uh, some other RC plane, uh, I mean, I would have looked at so so many damages. So I think that is that speaks a really positive thing about this RC plane. That then you can probably ram this one into the ground or have some crazy cra crash, and it will survive. And if you just look at the landing gears, I mean, it's quite complicated. These are a steel pin, but I would much rather prefer to have a steel pin landing gear uh, uh, compared to like carbon fiber because steel might bend, but it won't break. So, I mean, I will continue to, to explore this um, Skynetic Aspark 3 for the Tour then because I think this is a plane that I will learn a lot to fly.